This video coming out of Ukraine shows a Russian missile striking a supermarket. It's images of this war that drew the people here at Bridgeport Park together. You're here today. That tells us, tells you how important this event is for everybody. Eddie Perez so, took it upon himself to bring uh, about a sense of togetherness. He organized a charity rally to foster support for those in Ukraine. This gave me a sense of hope. I can do something. Now, if I can just empower other people to do the same, then everybody will feel a sense of gratitude to serve others. Serving others by selling shirts, bracelets, and flags to raise money for the Children's Medical Care Foundation in Ukraine. The military war machine of Russia, of the Russian government, cruelly attacked peaceful Ukraine. For Perez, it hits home. His family is still in Ukraine. That alone pushed him to take action. When I heard from my niece, who said, Uncle, are you coming to get me? The impotence I felt of not being able to be there to grab her and bring her is beyond words. The same uneasy feeling is shared by those still overseas in a country under attack. Russia is trying to take from us our homes, our children, our parents, our spouses. Russia has come to destroy Ukraine. I hope all the world clearly sees that. Epicenter. Seeing it is one thing, but doing something about it is another for Dr. Zoyana Ivanyuk. She's in Ukraine collecting funds to help sick children. She spoke from a bunker in Lviv. I really, truly believe that we will win and all the world will be a safe place for all the children. A few attendees brought a piece of their home to Santa Clarita, many with songs special to Ukraine. The music carried a message. Though it may feel gloomy at times, darkness will never prevail, never. And for those who have caused this harm, eventually they will go down. You will be victorious, I promise you that. For Canyons News, I'm Lauren Hanna.